Hi guys, welcome to my video. I picked up a coffee and a bar. Yum, it was delicious. And then I had a little word to you in the video. So I'm just sitting in the car waiting for my daughter. And then we're going to hit the op shops, thrift shops. I just love the anticipation of not knowing what you're going to find. So hopefully I'll find some good things today. I have a lot to say today in today's video about op shopping. This is my favourite op shop that I usually go to and I saw these and I thought they'll look nice on my wall. I'll pick them up and do them up but they were $45 each and I know that sounds like it's not that dear but when you want to buy two I wasn't going to pay that. Walking around the shop I was totally disillusioned. It's kind of like a fine line. I've had this rave before on videos. It's like these companies, these organisations want to help people. But they're charging so much for things that people who want to help the other people by buying stuff aren't buying it. I was just shocked, shocked how dear everything was. And that was with 30% off that table. I am really, I really like that. I am really considering not going op shopping anymore. And it's sad, it's enjoyable, but it's just not anymore. This picture that I'm just about to look at, I can't see the price, but I think they wanted like $65 or $75. And it was beautiful, and the tones would have suited my house, the blues and greens, but there was no way I was going to pay that. And I didn't zoom in close enough to remember but this one, I was outraged. They wanted $225 for a map in New Zealand. Anyway, moving on to the next op shop. I couldn't work out what these are. These were, were they curtains? I didn't take them off. But I was quite intrigued. But they were like heavy. <laughs> so I actually did buy something from this op shop but I didn't see it until I was just about to walk out the door so I will show you that at the end of the video and I found some frames there's always so many frames in so many op shops and I picked up this one I thought oh someone made a frame and put some lace on it but half of it was missing but they really gave it a go <laughs> so I just carried on walking around some op shops, I hate to say some are bad and some are good, some are just really junky. Some op shops are laid out better than the others, but they're all getting quite expensive, and I know I've mentioned that before in other videos. Getting to the, this table and chairs, there was two chairs and a big, nice oval table, but even that was $250. I loved those chairs, though. They were quite cottagey. If I could have bought those chairs, I would have. But I didn't need a table. So this is another op shop. Just checking out some cushions. I loved this platter. I would have bought it. But there was a problem with it. It had a chip in it. And I don't mind if my own things already are chipped. I, I do tend to throw out chip plates in that, that I use. But if something special that I own that I don't use, I'll keep it chipped but that was chipped already <laughs> if that makes sense
though this was quite a nice New Zealand brand 70s dish I don't collect that sort of stuff but I could appreciate it for what it was and this was a plate that I'd seen at another op shop a previous time I nearly got it but it had a few marks and then I'm just looking at some pillowcases but and then this cute little plate it was quite cute these were interesting they really weren't my style but I could actually appreciate them for what they were and of course I just think oh I could have painted them I just think painting everything here we are at the supermarket buying our favorite pie for lunch it was so good interesting mirror it was falling apart op shop seven I didn't buy anything from this op shop it's quite big but this is probably like the junkiest op shop and I know everybody's definition of junk is different but yeah I hadn't been in this one for a very long time and kind of know why I skip it now it's yeah those are quite cute but I didn't need them and what I picked up guys I picked up the mirror the kind lady said to me when I took it to the counter it was ten dollars on the sticker price there were so many beautiful mirrors at that first op shop, but the prices were just outrageous. But of course I couldn't show you them because they were at the front counter by the people. And, oh, this was a bargain. So she said, you don't, you don't have to pay 10, you can have it for 5 because there's something wrong with it. I noticed it straight away when I picked it up. It was broken, but that's an easy enough fix for me. Shells are quite French but it was the bargain of the century this was in one of the first op shops and I didn't see it till I walked out and then I noticed it out of the corner of my eye and I said to the lady how much is that and she said $20 and it was a bargain you know as much as I've been moaning all through this video about the prices I picked it up because it's real wood and it's got so much wrong with it but that's exactly what I want to buy. I want to buy something that's got so much wrong with it. And it's quite cottagey. And some child had decided to draw some pictures on it. I'm laughing. <laughs> but yeah, I can see real potential with this. I really don't know what to do with it. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. But yeah, as I say, it's more suited to a cottage style. But I couldn't not buy it. And that's glass and yeah showing you the drawer it's really really solid it's excellent it just needs some TLC so that will be done in the next video with the mirror and I've also got this to show you which is from my husband's garage he gave it to me because a friend gave it to him a long time ago and he said did I want it for storage and oh I love it I absolutely love it for storage for my craft stuff it kind of concertinas out I don't know how old it is it might be only 80s or 90s I have no idea but I love the color so I'm just going to clean it and probably just stencil my initials on it so I'll do that as well when I do up the mirror and the cabinet in the next video thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye